I want you to think about how often you use the internet. Now imagine the internet was never invented. How would your life be different? How would the travel industry be different? The tourism industry was heavily impacted by the creation of the internet because tourism relies so heavily on the exchange of information. Today, it's difficult to imagine planning a trip without the help of the internet and the vast choice of travel websites and apps available at our beck and call. But let's rewind the clock back to 1990 to help us understand just how profoundly the internet changed the distribution system. Tourism distribution is all about the connections that allow tourism suppliers to get their products to the marketplace so consumers can book them. Most larger tourism companies had their own computer reservation systems, but these systems did not connect with each other. Throughout the 1980s and the early 1990s, the traditional travel distribution system was largely controlled by four global distribution systems, or GDSs. The GDSs allowed travel agents to book a range of products and services by providing a connection to supplier reservation systems. You can see that unless you book directly with a travel supplier, either by walking into their office or dialing into their call centres, most of the bookings went through the GDS. Usually, travel agents were locked into one of these GDSs. This gave the GDSs enormous power in the travel distribution chain. Hotels connected their own central reservation systems to these systems using switching companies, and this enabled data to flow between two different systems. Now let's look at the distribution chain as it looks today. We can see that all of the GDSs are still around in one form or another. The suppliers are the same, but the distribution system and the booking options have grown dramatically. Customers can still book directly with suppliers, but these days this happens through internet booking engines. There are a number of global distribution new entrants, or GNEs, who use new technologies to aggregate and package travel product. The other major development was the growth of online travel agents, or OTAs, such as Expedia, Booking.com and Priceline, and meta search engines such as Kayak and Google's Hotel Finder. This development put many traditional travel agents out of business. For consumers and suppliers, there were big savings because they could cut out intermediaries or middlemen, eliminating unnecessary fees and commissions. Many destinations have also developed their own destination management systems to coordinate marketing content and bookings at the regional level. The big challenge for tourism suppliers is that the distribution system is now so complex that it can be difficult to work out which channels to use. This is especially true for small tourism operators who don't have the time to understand or manage all of these channels. So what are the solutions? Number one, have a website with a booking button. Make sure the website is a good one. Put some thought into the site layout and architecture. Think about the target markets and the distribution strategy around these markets. You'll find a framework for creating a good travel website in the reading material for this topic. Adding a booking system is not difficult. You don't need to create your own. There are many companies that specialise in providing booking systems and they're often much more cost effective than trying to develop and maintain your own system. The logic behind this tip is simple. If customers can book directly, then you have more control over the distribution and pricing of your product. Number two, leverage the resources of your destination. Many destinations have their own websites and databases of tourism product. For example, Australia has the Australian Tourism Data Warehouse, which is a database of thousands of tourism experiences. Information and booking options from this database are displayed on local, regional and national tourism destination websites. In some destinations, these systems also connect to larger booking systems, online travel agents and even the GDSs. Tourism suppliers pay a small fee which provides access to enter or update the information. This gives enormous marketing reach and also ensures that information about a product is always up to date because it's only stored in one place. Number three, get support. Engage a channel manager. Businesses can easily become overwhelmed by all the distribution choices and the time needed to manage these. But there are companies known as channel managers who will do all this for a fee. These companies can make sure that tourism products are visible and bookable across a range of online travel agents, mobile travel apps 
and even social media. If you can't find a channel manager, look for two or three people in your industry who you can really trust and set up a mentoring and support group. Learn from the expertise of others. Number four, make it easy for travellers to find you. When your product is visible in many places, search engines like Google will rank your site higher in their search results. Many companies charge a lot of money for search engine optimization, but businesses can get a great online visibility by following some basics. First, companies like Google offer tools to help identify and track trends in specific keywords. Second, check out what keywords competitors are using, especially those ranked higher in search engine results. Third, make sure the titles and text on the site include the keywords customers will search for when looking for your product. Fourth, make sure the URL is search friendly. Fifth, keep the content fresh by including a forum or a blog. And last, use social media to distribute links and YouTube videos about your product. Number five, evaluate performance. There are many online tools for tracking how visitors use a site and identifying where visitors come from. Get into the habit of checking web analytics every week to learn which strategies and channels deliver the most business. This makes it easier to integrate web marketing and distribution efforts into strategic marketing and allows a business to set targets and key performance indicators for online marketing efforts. The future of the digital tourism marketplace is becoming even more complex. As companies experiment with artificial intelligence and recommender agents, we're likely to see systems that are capable of personalising distribution channels based on the preferences of individual tourists.